Here we have a derailleur shootout. So this is a 105 road derailleur for comparison. Number 261. We've got the SRAM NX 11 speed 315. Now this is a uh, got a clutch system in it and it feels pretty strong. Get bear in mind the heavier derailleur is, the more abuse it's going to take. And we have a uh, an X5 296. We have a GX 10 speed 296. Now these derailleurs are really similar. If you know what the difference between these two is, let us know down below because I don't know. They look really similar in the same mold and stuff like that. But I do like the SRAM derailers on the mountain bike, they feel really crisp. This is an XO 230, so you're, you're basically paying an extra 200 bucks, you're losing 60 grams, you're getting like a carbon outer plate there, inner plate, whatever you want to call it. And I've had this for a couple of years, it's been a really good derailer. Um, it did get a bit banged in a, in a crash uh, recently, so I've, I've retired it and uh, just going to keep an eye on this one. But uh, it's otherwise it's been really good, hasn't missed a beat. So that's your derailleur blowout. If you know the GX difference, 10 speed, versus the X5 10 speed difference, I don't really know. They both sank exactly the same weight to the gram. Both have a clutch. Oh, hang on, no, this one doesn't. Oh, wow, it doesn't. Oh, there we go. That's the difference. One's got clutch, one doesn't. That's my own quality question. There you go.